Dali Grammar School Science Lesson The Plant World Chapter Number Three Lecture Number One Students, we will discuss in Unit Number Three, which is about the plant world. First of all, we have to discuss the botany. Do you know something about the botany? The study of plants called botany. The study of plants called botany. What is botany? The study of plants called botany. Let's study how plants make food. By the unit number three, which is about the plant world. We will study about the plants and how they make food. What is botany? The study of plants called botany. The study of plants called botany. We will study through the botany how the plants will make their own food. Let's study about how they perform photosynthesis do you know anything about photosynthesis photosynthesis is actually the process in which plants make their own food plants make their own food this process is called photosynthesis what is photosynthesis plants make their own food this process is called photosynthesis. Students, can you tell me what is photosynthesis? Plants make their own food. So, this process is called photosynthesis. As you can see, plants by the use of sunlight, which is energy, they perform the photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process in which plants make their food. Let's learn about plants need food to live. As human body need food to live, similarly plants need to live food. Plants need food just as animals need food to live. What do plants need to live? Where do plants need to live? Plants need food to live just like other animals. Plants need food just as animals need food to live. Where do plants need to live? Plants need food just as other animals need food to live or survive. Plants make their own food by themselves with the use of energy. Plants need food just as other animals need food to live. Plants need food to live as other animals need food to live. Students, let's move towards our next slide which is about Plants cannot be moved. As everybody knows, plants cannot be moved. So, animals are able to move to find food. But plants cannot move because they grow on one place. As you can see in this slide, plants are not able to move. They have to be grow on one place. Animals are able to move to find food, but plants cannot move because they grow on one place. Why do plants cannot move? Animals are able to move to find food, but plants cannot move because they grow on one place. Animals are able to move to find food. But plants cannot move because they grow on one place. Students, plants make their food in their leaves. Plants make their food in their leaves. 
where do plants prepare their food plants are not able to move as i have discussed in our previous slide plants are not able to move so they make their food in their leaves plants are not able to move so they make their food in their leaves plants are not able to move let's moving towards our next slide which is about things plants need for photosynthesis plants need four things water carbon dioxide sunlight and chlorophyll to make their food plants need four things like water carbon dioxide and chlorophyll how many things plants need to occur photosynthesis plants need four things water carbon dioxide sunlight and chlorophyll plants need four things water carbon dioxide sunlight and chlorophyll plants need four things water carbon dioxide sunlight and chlorophyll students photosynthesis takes place where photosynthesis takes place let's discuss the photosynthesis where it takes place in this slide you can see a picture of photosynthesis there is a plant which get energy from the sunlight and carbon dioxide from the air water from the soil plant make their own food by the help of energy water and carbon dioxide as you can see in this result plant produce glucose and oxygen a plant collects water from the ground and it gets energy from the sun plant breathe in carbon dioxide from the air photosynthesis takes place in the leaves of plants photosynthesis takes place in the leaves of plants leaves contain a substance called chlorophyll leaves contain a substance called chlorophyll chlorophyll changes the sunlight so it can used by the plants now we will discuss all the steps one by one plants collect the water from the ground plant collect water from the ground from where plant collect water plant collect water from the ground similarly plant get sunlight from the sun 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 from where plants get sunlight plants get sunlight from the sun plants get sunlight in the form of energy from the sun as you can see in this slide plants breathe carbon dioxide from the air everybody knows plants breathe in carbon dioxide from the air plants get carbon dioxide from the air plants breathe in carbon dioxide from the air students can you tell me from where plants get carbon dioxide plants get carbon dioxide from the air and use this gas which is known as carbon dioxide for making of food plants need carbon dioxide for their survival what is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is a gas 
कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज अ गैस स्टूडेंट्स कैन यू टेल मी वट इज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज अ गैस विच इज यूज बाय द प्लांट्स टू मेक देयर फूड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज अ गैस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज अ गैस वट इज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज अ गैस एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज यूज बाय द प्लांट्स फॉर देयर सर्वाइवल students as we have discussed where photosynthesis takes place let's discuss it again photosynthesis takes place in the leaves what is photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process in which plants make their food and where photosynthesis takes place photosynthesis takes place in the leaves as you can see in this slide photosynthesis takes place in the leaves energy from the sun gets into the leaves and then carbon dioxide with the help of water plants use and they make their own food and provide us oxygen plants make their food by the help of sunlight carbon dioxide and water plants make their own food in the leaves this process is known as photosynthesis and where photosynthesis takes place photosynthesis takes place in the leaves students Let's discuss about the chlorophyll. Do you know anything about the chlorophyll? Leaves contain a substance called chlorophyll. As you can see, leaves contain a substance called chlorophyll. Leaves contain a substance called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll changes the sunlight chlorophyll changes the sunlight what is chlorophyll leaves contain a substance called chlorophyll leaves contain a substance called chlorophyll what is chlorophyll leaves contain a substance called chlorophyll leaves contain a substance called chlorophyll students role of chlorophyll let's learn about the role of chlorophyll what chlorophyll do chlorophyll changes the sunlight so it can be used by the plants chlorophyll changes the sunlight so it can be used by the plants chlorophyll is a substance that is present in the leaves chlorophyll changes the sunlight so it can be used by the plants chlorophyll is a substance that is contained by the leaves chlorophyll changes the sunlight so it can be used by the plants chlorophyll present in the leaves let's learn about the production of glucose students let's learn about the production of glucose glucose is a food that helps the plants to grow when sunlight mixes with carbon dioxide and h2o it makes a type of sugar called glucose when sunlight mixes with carbon dioxide and water it makes a type of sugar is known as glucose what happen when sunlight mixes with carbon dioxide and water when sunlight mixes with carbon dioxide and water it makes a type of 
sugar which is known as glucose which is known as glucose production of glucose is done when the sunlight mixes with carbon dioxide and water that makes a type of sugar that can be known as glucose oxygen produced by the plants as like as glucose oxygen is another production of plants what another production done by the plants oxygen is produced by the plant when sunlight mix with carbon dioxide and water it makes a glucose and in other hand oxygen will also be produced by the plants oxygen is another production by the plants what another production by the plants oxygen is produced by the plants we use oxygen for our survival define glucose the glucose is the food that helps the plant to grow what is glucose glucose is the food that helps to plants to grow glucose is actually the mixture of carbon dioxide and water with the help of sunlight as we have discussed in our previous slides with the help of sunlight when carbon dioxide and water mix together they form glucose and this glucose is used as a food by the plants to grow themselves glucose is the food that helps to plants for their growth students how oxygen goes into the air oxygen leaves the plant and goes into the air how oxygen goes into the air oxygen leaves the plant and goes into the air we use oxygen for our survival all animals and all living things like humans use oxygen for breathing so oxygen leaves the plant and goes into the air oxygen leaves by the plants so that goes into the air and we can use the oxygen from the air for our survival how oxygen goes into the air oxygen goes into the air when plants release oxygen so we can use oxygen for our survival by breathe in that oxygen how oxygen goes into the air when leaves release the oxygen oxygen goes into the air when oxygen goes into the air they will be used by all animals as you know oxygen need is for animals animals need oxygen why animals need oxygen animals need oxygen for their survival all animals need oxygen for their survival they use oxygen from the air that is released by the plants oxygen is used by the animals that is released by the plants plants released oxygen into the air and all animals use oxygen from the air why animals need oxygen animals need oxygen for their survival animals need oxygen for their survival i hope you will get all the concepts that we have studied 
photosynthesis. Thanks for watching.